Akara has made a lot of smart home tech that I've been using in my apartment for a long time now and thus I can share my honest long-term feedback on how these devices actually work in practice. In this video, I wanted to show you my favorite Akara gadgets that I've been using every day and how they make my apartment smarter. In case you're interested in picking any of these devices up, I will leave all the links and show notes in the video description down below. First of all, you need a hub that will be running the show and Akara gives you a few options like M2, a compact and lightweight hub that can work via the Wi-Fi or Ethernet, it can connect up to 128 devices, it allows you to control your existing IR devices, it has a built-in speaker and it makes your Akara devices compatible with a wide range of smart home ecosystems and voice assistants like Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, Alexa, IFTTT and so on. I've been using this hub for months and it has always been reliable. The Roller Shade Driver E1 is a simple yet effective solution to control your roller shades. It ships with everything you need to get started including hardware bits for wall installation but I simply used a command strip and it works just fine. Just like most of the Akara devices, it is made of white matte plastic and the overall build quality is great. Installation is super simple and it took me just a minute to install the device. The E1 supports the maximum roller blind weight of 3 kilograms, it has manual up and down keys and most importantly it has a built-in battery that lasts up to 2 months. As a result, the device looks nice and clean on the wall without any wires sticking out. When you need to recharge it, just plug in the power bank into the USB Type-C port. There are many ways to control the E1 driver. You can do it manually within the app, control it by Alexa or other assistant voice commands, which is what I usually do, set automations so the shades will roll up and down at particular time of the day, and so on and so forth. Another way to control it, using a wireless mini switch, which is tiny and compact. I set the automation that the single click opens up the shade and double click closes. The wireless switch can be programmed to control any of your Akara devices in a variety of ways. Whenever the IP68 certified Akara water leak sensor detects the water leak, it can send an alert to your phone and activate the local alarm on the Akara hub to prevent leaks and flooding. Besides, this tiny device controls and triggers Akara connected devices when excess water is detected. For demonstration purposes, I tested it in the shower and I immediately got a notification about the leak. I think it's a very useful device. I use one in the bathroom but I plan to get a few more for the basement and the laundry room. This tiny device detects the concentration and the level of TVOC in the air as well as temperature and humidity. It uses an e-ink display which is similar to paper and it is easy to read, it has a 1 year battery life and the device has a magnetic mount so I place it on the fridge in the kitchen. Double pressing the button changes the layout of the home screen and just like for every other device, you can see more detailed information in the Akara app. If you want a more simple and discreet device, this super tiny temperature and humidity sensor does what it says. It shows temperature, humidity and air pressure. I installed the sensors almost in each room of my apartment so I can see temperature differences. Pairing up each device with your phone is super quick and easy using the Akara Home app. I found this application to be intuitive and functional and I'll talk about some of its features in just a bit. I use the Akara smart plug to convert my old desk lamp into the smart one, meaning that I can turn it on or turn it off remotely, which is pretty cool. However, I connected it to this tiny motion sensor that has a replaceable battery which lasts up to 2 years and it can be mounted pretty much everywhere. Within the Akara app, I created an automation for the sensor to turn on the desk lamp and turn it off when there is no motion in 15 minutes. In this way, I never turn the lamp off manually as I keep coming back and forth from the office. I used another motion sensor to trigger an alarm when someone opens my camera gear storage. The alarm sound can be customized in a variety of ways and you can adjust the loudness. I also like using another motion sensor in the bedroom where it is connected to the bedside lamps. 
Every time I want to lay down, the lights turn on automatically and turn off in 10 minutes. When I go to sleep, I simply turn the automation off. Another cool gadget, the Akara door and window sensor. Depending on how you want to use it, you can set it to send you push notification when someone opens up or closes the door. This is what I did. However, you can set an automation so the main hub or any of the cameras that can also act as separate hubs start an alarm. I just love that all of the new devices can be paired up in seconds using the Akara app which I found to be intuitive and easy to use. You can see all of the gadgets divided into different rooms and you can control them either individually or add to the groups by creating a scene. However, I think that automations make the best out of these smart devices. You can create a new automation in a very simple if-then menu and change or turn off them anytime you want. You can customize the automations in a variety of ways and once you decide what works best for you, you can have a near effortless smart home experience. After using these Akara gadgets for a long time, I can say that they offer a ton of features and customization options and they work as a cohesive smart home system whether you control them using the feature-loaded Akara Home app or the voice assistant of your choice. All in all, the Akara Smart Home Tech is something that I can personally recommend to anyone who want to make their home smarter as these gadgets offer a lot of features and they prove to be reliable over time. What do you think about these Akara gadgets? Would you buy them or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please drop me a comment down below if you have any questions and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.